so this is Darnell Lake State Park. This is where you can camp at and everything. That's the main pavilion. They got all kinds of stuff in there. Um, really worth going and seeing when they're open. This is the fishing pier, and then like the main main dock or the main uh, boat ramp and the jetty for the main boat ramps here. But when they have all the fishing tournaments, it's held at this fishing pavilion. They have a couple of giant tournaments every single year, and this place is just packed with people. So there's bathrooms and everything in there as well. Tons of boat parking, tons of overflow boat parking. So that's the main ramp, and we'll circle back over to that. There's actually a ton of people on the lake right now. I think they're having a fishing tournament this weekend, so I'm willing to bet all these guys are uh, out practicing. But this is overflow parking for uh, boats, and then back behind me, on towards the entrance, there's more overflow parking for boats. But during a big tournament, this place is just packed there's stuff trucks everywhere this is the swim area there's two people swimming right now it's buoyed off too there's a jetty here you can walk out on a lot of people come and take prom pictures and everything out here i take a sunset time lapse like i just posted uh today actually and then the main part of the river and the lake, the river channel over on that far side. This is the main, and then this is the main boat ramp here. So when you leave this and go left, it's a camping area. You can easily walk from the camping area to the boat ramp, probably about 10 minutes. They actually have a harbor and a place you can rent slips at. There's a whole bunch of sailboats in the water here that people rent, covered and uncovered. I'm hoping to have a sailboat out here one of these days, but I gotta make a lot more money first. This is the harbor here. There's about five sailboats that are currently for sale right now. not too bad a couple grand a year to rent a slip and then a ton of people come out right here in this area and set up hammocks and sit and fish people fish just about everywhere there's some right there and then they have a place they uh, work on boats they call it some marina. I'm up from the coast, so I call it a harbor. So there's three distinctly different places to camp. This is like the main one, the showers and bathrooms and everything are in this kind of area. It's the most popular area by far. So the bathroom and showers are right here. So 28 and 29, 30 is right across from the bathroom. Oh. 
look at the burritos right here. Well, you can rent boats and kayaks and stuff like that at that marina, by the way. Then kind of the little bit less nice than areas over there, across the way. No bathrooms and everything over there, so you'd have to walk all the way over to that side to go use the bathroom. It'd be quite a walk. So the dump station's right here, free to use. You can dump out your camper. There's one campsite that's about the best campsite ever. It's the very end one. It's absolutely beautiful. There used to be somebody's house here because this never was a lake. This was farm fields and a, uh, a little bayou. So this house used to just kind of overlook a whole bunch of farmland. William Lovely. So Space 16 is about the best one ever, I think. Right on the corner, it's beautiful. We got his house from 1750 to 1817 right in that spot. And this is my personal favorite spot. It's called Sunset Point. It's where I like to take most of my time lapses at right at sunset this is about the most beautiful area you can come to so they have a little boat ramp here and a pretty shallow launch and you can walk down here and you can fish in this whole area. And you want to talk about just beautiful. But this is why most people, I think, want to move here. Just how beautiful and small town and everything is. I just wish Russellville had a lot more stuff to do. You know, this, uh, this town gets old, but it's pretty. And I really, really, really want a boat so I can go out on this lake and fish. And I want a sailboat actually, but I can fish from a sailboat. Can't get a lot more beautiful than this, especially when this is about seven miles or seven minutes from my house.